Hello, everybody. This is Carol from Friendly Quail. I'm doing a flip through today of my botanical journal that is made from a photo album from a thrift store. So I'm going to start out by saying I turned it into a little bit of an alligator mouth. Remember when I put a knot in here because I thought I had all this space? Well, I had to take the knot out. And this is what my profile looks like. Now, it still, you know, goes in, but it, um, I don't want to force it, you know, so hard. So I took the knot back out. When I do a journal, I should say, okay, I think I can do this many um, signatures and then automatically take two out because that might have helped. <laughs> I don't know. But um, the book itself is, um, I have it written down. Uh, it's six and a half this way, seven and three fourths this way, and it has a one and a half inch spine. I do have nine signatures in it, which I probably should have went with seven. Um, it has a total of about 80 pages. So let's get started. You saw me do this. I did put on the back a little from the antiquarian sticker book, um, a flower sticker of, of uh, pansies. And uh, that's on there. And we have, of course, the, whoops, thread, um, the dried flowers glued on the front that were there, okay? Um, inside the book, I, this is a pocket, okay? And I put this on the first page for, um, decoration. Stuff like this is what made it fatter because this is really fat. In fact, I can see dents of the <laughs> buttons on here from it being squished. Okay. This you've seen before, but if you haven't watched my other videos, I'll just show you all of the different things that we have. Edith Holden page. We have just paper, a flower. Uh, book page and this is one of those um, what do you call them it's not a paper clip but it it can hold stuff in I just put it there for looks I liked how this was like that and then this comes opposite and we have an Edith Holden page here with this floating pocket Oop. get it out it's stuck in there okay um this has three um tags made from a uh, master board that i had made Okay, so they're all in there. I put some lace on different things. This is the same lace that's on this tag. Okay, and then here we have a pocket with a journal card. This is, I had Fussy cut that out of a Edith Holden page. And uh, I just glued that on there. And this one, because there was writing on the back of here, I glued this on and it has a little butterfly. Uh, I put some thread in here for the antennae. Um, it just has this card. And then this flips, and then the next page is right here. Um, I have a little bit of a dent from this, 
this here. It kind of goes through a couple pages because this was such a big bump. But it'll work. Okay, and then I have this. That goes behind here. But then this opens up. And you could also write in here. The little gate pocket. Okay. And this knot got awfully fat. I put a piece of that here as well. But I kind of have this up here because the knot's kind of fat. So I have it sticking out the top a little bit. Okay, I put a little piece of ribbon here. And we have our flower pocket made from flower book and a journal card. Okay. I tried something. I used a little bit thinner thread. Uh, it's a very strong thread, and I'm hoping that that'll work because it looks really good and it didn't break or anything when I was sewing it so that was good okay we have our pocket here I just put a little butterfly on it and I have some sorry silk glued and stitched on this page here we have a ruffle Edith Holden page this was from that journal book that I had gotten at a thrift store okay and then a pocket with a journal card on I have a little bit of a tab here put some ribbon on here it's just fold out on the Edith Holden page and then we have this pocket this is just a note card All right, a little lace on the edge. We have our pocket with um, the vellum, Tim Holtz vellum, in the tag that I made. Scrapbook paper, we have our um, fabric flip. picture from a flower book. Love this page. Okay. And I remember when I was trying to figure out where this one was for, that's where it was for. This is a pocket made out of an envelope with a flat, uh, a window. And so that one goes in here and you can see that through the window. I mean, Steve's Oh, excuse me. <laughs> we have a lot of pollen in <laughs> here right now. Okay, this is just a little um, cluster. And here I have a stamp with a little lace holding that uh, sewing on. I did um, sew just the cluster. I didn't sew through the page, but then I put a piece of uh, lace on the edge with a little bit sticking out. So you can see it from here. And a sticker. It says a cluster. This is the rose pocket that opens up. You can write in there. And then we have our um, tag that goes into there. And I did end up putting green on there for that to match that green. And there's green in here. All right. Um, paper with a little rub on transfer oh, Edith Holden page this one instead of putting it in as a page I glued the edges on as a pocket so we have a tab you can write in here and it's a pocket so here is a journal card that goes in that pocket this is the one I showed you before that uh, it's a circle and then you have these circles that you can write on. Sometimes I don't um, 
ink the insides of them, but I did on this one. <laughs> and Edith Holden. It's just so pretty, I think. Edith Holden pages. Just so inspiring. Okay, I have a piece of lace on the edge of that paper. Here we have another signature. And on this, I did put another one of those page edge things that you can use to put things in or use as a bookmark. It's just two the same, just glued together on a little bit of part of it. So it sticks on there. And it, I put it on a smaller one. You can put it wherever you want. You know, you could. Some of my eco dyed alcohol, alcohol dyed eco paper. I have another one of the transfers here, book page. And then here is a journal card in this little pocket here. And the fabric on the edge of that. Okay. Here we have this pocket, uh, floating pocket kind of thing, where I put in this journaling card. It's not backed. I wanted to keep it thin, but I do have this, which is a little notebook, and I used scraps that I had cut off from the pages. So you can write in here. And I just have a little notebook with a little grasshopper on the front. Okay, more alcohol ink paper. This was with uh, Maple Leafs book page. The little piece of trim on the edge. This uh, rose book page. Okay, and then I have this pocket, the tuxedo pocket, because it's like the lapels where we have a note card. You could put something on that too if you wanted, but I didn't. And a journal card. More eco dyed. Edith Holden folds out. Okay, and then I put just a little ribbon kind of um, ruffle here. I did sew it through the paper. And I opened this up so it went down into there. And we have a card to write on. Plus you can write on here. more alcohol ink eco dyed. Um, the center page, I put a few cut, uh, die cuts on it. And I have three different circles that I attached and I put the eyelet in the middle one. Could be, have something hanging off of it if, or just decoration. On this alcohol ink page, I put a piece of lace green lace and then we have our pocket made from a book page and a couple of the journal cards from the master board They're going like that and on the end I have my stamp and a couple flowers and this is a pocket here as well just put a piece of paper in there to show it. All right. So that is the botanical journal from um, a thrift store photo album. It really does close. Okay, there we go. 
and that's it for that so this will end up being for sale on my etsy shop if you're interested and i'm very excited that i'm starting a new journal this week mine's going to be called a secret garden or my secret garden and i'm doing it as a challenge with made by grana in sweden she has a wonderful channel i will be linking her with all of the things i do we kind of worked out what we're going to do so i'm excited to start be starting that next okay thanks y'all for being here this uh today and i hope you enjoyed the flip through of this botanical journal this is carol saying bye